Our Lenten journey has brought us to the gates of Jerusalem. Hello, my name is Hilary Chrisley, and I am the pastor of Glendora United Methodist Church. Together in worship, we join Jesus as he enters the holy city, and we join in bringing our hopes and singing our praises. With Jesus, we will enter a holy week that leads to sacrifice and sorrow. We take this journey together, opening ourselves to God's grace and mercy. Let us prepare by joining in worship. Please join with me in the call to worship. We come to prepare for the holiest of weeks. We will journey through praise with joy on our lips. We will travel through betrayal and death, cradling hope deep in our hearts. Jesus leads us through this week and we will follow, for he is the life we long for. He is the word who sustains us. We wave palm branches in anticipation we lay our love before him to cushion his walk. Setting aside all power, glory, and might, he comes modeling humility and obedience for all of us. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one who brings us the kingdom of God.
As we prepare to hear our gospel reading, let me invite you to take time for reflective silence so that the words from the Gospel of Luke may enter your life and enter your heart. Hear now the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, verses 28 through 40. After Jesus said this, he continued on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As Jesus came to Bethpage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he gave two disciples a task. He said, Go into the village over there. When you enter it, you will find tied up there a colt that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, why are you untying it? Just say, its master needs it. Those who had been sent found it exactly as he had said. They were untying the colt. Its owner said to them, why are you untying the colt? They replied, its master needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their clothes on the colt, and lifted Jesus onto it. As Jesus rode along, they spread their clothes on the road. As Jesus approached the road leading down from the Mount of Olives, the whole throng of his disciples began rejoicing. They praised God with a loud voice because of all the mighty things they had seen. They said, Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in earth and glory in the highest heavens. Some of the Pharisees from the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, scold your disciples. Tell them to stop. He answered, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones would shout. In Christ alone my hope is found, He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe. This gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the hate endured was cast aside. We are the branch, and he the vine, teaching us all of love divine. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness lay. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again. And as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, for 
I am his and he is mine, bound by the precious love of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme or plan can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand. What can we offer that you have not already offered us? What can we do that you have not already done for us? Lord Jesus Christ, in your gifts to us, you have provided us the way to live and serve you. In both your triumph and your suffering, you deserve our praise. Through the gifts we now offer, we express our longing to serve and follow wherever you go. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Hear the words from Psalms 118. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his faithful love lasts forever. Let Israel say it, God's faithful love lasts forever. Open the gates of righteousness for me, so I can come in and give thanks to the Lord. This is the Lord's gate. Those who are righteous enter through it. I thank you because you answered me because you are my saving help. The stone rejected by the builders is now the main foundation stone. This has happened because of the Lord. It is astounding in our sight. This is the day the Lord acted. We will rejoice and celebrate in it. Lord, please save us. Lord, please let us succeed. The one who enters in the Lord's name is blessed. We bless all of you from the Lord's house. The Lord is God. He has shined a light on us. So lead the festival offering with ropes all the way to the horns of the altar. You are my God. I will give thanks to you. You are my God. I will lift you up high. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his faithful love lasts forever.
It was two years ago, on a Palm Sunday, when we began recording our worship services. A novel coronavirus had increased throughout the United States, and people needed to stay home to stay safe. Businesses shut their doors, travel was restricted, students and workers went online. And our preschool and church office remained open as essential places for the community. It was then that we began worshiping together, even while we are apart. Our musicians and liturgists began recording their parts for worship. A YouTube channel was set up so that our worship services could be viewed anytime from any place in the world. New technology skills were developed and a delivery system for CDs and printed bulletins was begun. Communion and seasonal worship items were sent out by mail and later by volunteers as well. Each week for two years, this congregation has presented and participated in worship from our homes, from hospitals and care facilities, and from our families' homes. Out of an abundance of care for our neighbors as ourselves, our sanctuary was not available for worshiping together. But in time, our regathering plan was affirmed and COVID-19 was being dealt with in a way that would allow churches and other worshiping communities to gather again. And then, then well, our church basement flooded with all the rooms and much of the furniture damaged. The reconstruction process meant that we could not gather in the sanctuary due to safety and air quality concerns. And still we worship together even while apart. And through it all, you discovered new technology skills to watch worship on your home television or other devices. You learned to Zoom and we could fellowship together before worshiping together. You listened on CD and prayed and sang along. You worshiped by reading your weekly worship bulletin, saying the prayers and scriptures aloud and singing all the verses. And now through the countless hours and creative dedication of our board of trustees, we can safely begin to gather in our dining room, choir room, classrooms, and sanctuary. Two years of patience, two years of wonder and worry, two years of frustration, loneliness, two years of care for one another, and two years of proclaiming Christ, of holding on to your faith and singing your hosannas no matter what. Let us thank God for the special community of faith known as Glendora United Methodist Church. Days are so high. 
Join us in the Advent call to worship. 
Please join us in the Advent call to worship. Please join me in our responsive call to worship. Our scripture reading for today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verses 14 through 21. The Old Testament reading for this morning is Psalm 19. Let us join together in the call to worship. Good morning. Please join me in prayer. This day is holy to our Lord. Don't be sad because the joy from the Lord is your strength. The scripture reading is from Psalm 32. The Lord will protect you on your journeys, whether going or coming, from now until forever from now. Then the one seated on the throne said, Look, I'm making all things new. He also said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. The New Testament reading for today is from James 5, verses 13 through 16. Today's New Testament reading is from Luke chapter 3, verses 7 through 18. Hear now the Gospel of Mark. John 14, 15 to 21 and 27. Let us join together in the call to worship. Let us join in the call to worship. Who made this beautiful day? We, we believe, believe that God, God the, the Creator, made this day. day. Hear these words from the book of Exodus chapter 33 verses 17 through 23 but the fruit of spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control there is no law against things like this let my whole being bless the lord lord my god how fantastic you are you are clothed in glory and grandeur Holy and gracious God, you the one of prodigal grace, we give you thanks for the gift of life. Join us in our responsive call to worship. Please join me in the responsive call to worship. Joyous day, join me in responsive reading to the call to worship. This reading is from Psalm 95 verses 1 through 7. Let us join together in the responsive call to worship. Today's first scripture comes from the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 28 through 40. Today's scripture reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verses 1 through 9. The New Testament scripture is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Today's reading is from Psalm 63, 1 through 8. Welcome to worship. My name is Susanna Turner, and I'm a layperson at Glendore United Methodist Church. John 6, 1 through 14. Today's New Testament reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 5 through 10. The scripture reading today is from Luke 5, 1 through 11. Today's gospel reading is from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 through 46. If you would like to find out about joining our local UMW unit here at Glendora United Methodist Church, just call the church office. Our gospel reading for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 14. Scripture reading for today is Isaiah 44, verses 6 through 8. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 5. Join, Join us in, in the, the call, call to worship. Today's Old Testament reading is from the book of Psalms, chapter 42, verses 1 through 5. 
My name is Craig Rowley and I am the head usher at Glendora United Methodist Church. We gather together in God's presence to worship God in faith and truth. Alleluia. Amen. Welcome. Let us join together in our call to worship. Bless these men, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with the spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Reading 2. God's love frees me to live in confidence, not needing to be self-absorbed, but ready to listen and to hear the stories of others. Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 through 29. I'll be reading from the letter to the Philippines chapter 4 verses 4 through 9. Luke chapter 24 verses 13 through 35. Help us this day and every day to live, lead lives worthy of Christian manhood through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen.
Please join me in the response to the word. Gentle God, your Jesus faced profound evil and confronted injustice and violence, not with great force, but with humility, powerlessness, and love. I would ask that you give me the spirit to live as Christ, the heart to love, the courage to forgive, the trust to surrender my light to this world, asking nothing in return. We are asked to abandon all entitlement. I empty myself of all willfulness and seek your willingness alone. Make me a servant of your grace. Give me the deep humility to serve, not to get my way, to bless, not to win, to love, only to love. I pray in the name and in the humble spirit and in the encouraging presence of Christ. Amen. Please join me in prayer. Thank you, God, for your triumphal entry into our world each and every day. The slow motion explosion of buds on the trees proclaim Hosanna. Rushing water falling from heaven gurgling to the sea proclaims Hosanna. The fragrance of spring in the morning air proclaims Hosanna. And the beauty of a baby's fingers, the softness of their cheek proclaims your praise. We long to join this chorus, giving you thanks and praise for who you are, for all you have created, all you are creating. Thank you for sending Jesus, who showed us your love for all creation, your love for us. He opened our eyes to see your kingdom come here on earth. We would ask that you forgive us for the times where we have gone about our own business, concerned with many things, oblivious to the needs of those around us, oblivious to the call of your love in our heart. God of grace, equip us to be your servants, listening, eager, ready, for you know us. We are tempted to despair, and we think you have forsaken us. We are tempted to think that you are powerless. Give us a vision of your entry into our world as the Prince of Peace, changing hearts, changing our hearts, one by one creating an, an army of peacemakers who say no to violence. God of great deeds, open our hearts to be your hearts, open our hands to be your hands, open our minds to be your creative mind, our hearts to be your expansive heart for all who need your presence. You know the people in our congregation with pressing needs, those with new diagnoses, those waiting for tests, those coping with chronic pain. We grieve with those who are grieving and we ask for your comfort and healing. We pray for marriages that are in trouble, relationships that are strained. Walk with us, show us the way. We ask all these things in the name of Christ who taught us the disciples' prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and is so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breath 
that listen are in wonder the king of glory the king above all kings this is amazing grace this is unfailing love that you would take my place that you would bear my cross you lay down that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back into order? Son and daughter, the King of glory, the King of glory, who rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun in all of its brilliance, the King of glory, the King above all kings. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, 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 yeah, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life, that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Two years of faithfully singing, whispering, praying, proclaiming our hosannas. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. I would like to take a moment to invite you to continue watching and listening to this service after the closing. That's where you will find the outtakes of our special video. So friends, passing from joy into sorrow and then on to elation, we come to Christ this holy week. Today is only a part of the story. Jesus' triumph leads to his death and his death to his resurrection. May the journey of this week lead you into the fullness of Christ's love. Amen.
Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Uh, who's there? Who's who's at the door? I don't. Uh, I it. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, because I'm. It's hard for me to get around with the being pregnant and everything. The baby. Oh, it's hard. Give me a oh, minute. I'm sorry. I meant to say it's very. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Start over. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me stop. Can we can we keep these bloopers? <laughs> Three. <clears throat> um, blessing take 93, 5, 4. Hello, and welcome to this time of worship. My name is Hilary Chrisley, and I am the pastor of Glendora United Methodist Church. And the teleprompter isn't forwarding. <laughs> so we, I, we have to, I think we have to pray. Just to talk. Okay, yeah. I can talk about all sorts of things. Yeah. Would you like things Love alphabetically, is. alphabetically, categorically, as they come no, to me, I'm chronologically? Okay. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Okay, okay. thank you. The doxology. <laughs> With the gracious God at our side, with the resurrection of Christ Jesus as the cornerstone of your life through all things, and as the Holy Spirit imbibes in you, stop. Holy Spirit cannot imbibe in you. Let us give thanks to God for those who brought us and for those we have yet to meet. Uh, stop, stop. Give a cup of cold water to someone who is thirsty. Share, sharing our toys, share, oh, start again, stop, la, 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 la. <laughs> Christ invites us all to this holy feast. As we gather, we remember our, stop. Remember. <laughs> that ain't the way to have fun, son. That ain't the way to have fun. Mama told me to. <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> okay, here. May the Lord. Oh, sorry, stop. I it scrolled up. I missed it. And then I'm watching you on the side, going, "You're gonna explode." Okay. October 10, offering. Offering. <laughs> Take. Elephants. The scripture reading for this morning is Isaiah. No. This morning, that's what I'm used to. That's okay. That's okay. That's you know. That's so normal. That is so normal. Here's what I'm through. Thirteen through twenty-six. Please join me in the Advent. Oh, oh my already God. blew it. <laughs> already blew it. Okay, that, okay. Please join me in the Advent call to worship. Okay, now let's do us this time. Let's I know do it says me. I'm sorry, that's me. Us. us. Don't us. read it. This is say, please join us. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I, did. I did. No, you said me again. Did I? You're a good The voice of God, Gadger. <laughs> Gadger. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, hold on. The voice of God, Gadger. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gadger. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Okay, here we go. If you would like more information about climate justice and how to get involved, there will be 
Oops. <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> I couldn't no, think. No, the whole I thing over now. I couldn't think of what to say. That's, that's <laughs> right. um, okay, let me think about what I'm going to sure. say. <laughs> Somehow, if it's not there, it's like, I'm blank. <laughs> if you would like more information about climate justice and how to get involved, there will be some information. There will be some information in the credits following the service. That's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Anytime you want. This celebration of the Shavuot is held 50 days after Passover. It marks the giving of the Torah by God to Moses. You're you're fine. <laughs> Just I forget all these folks that I'm so used to saying good morning. I know. I, is this something? Yeah, I know. Our second reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans, verse 12. I got that wrong. That's okay. That's all right. It's uh, 12. Oh, it is 12. Okay, 12, 12. 9 through 21. Remember it's 12 and 21. <laughs> and then there's that 9 in the middle. So it's 12, 9 through 21. So take it away. But, look at the camera. I'm such, a, I'm such an ogre. <laughs> Our second reading is from Paul's letter to the Roman church, verse 12, chapter 12. That's yep. what I'm doing. Our second reading is from Paul's letter to the Roman church, chapter 12, verses, one, verses 9 through 21. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Today's gospel reading is from the book of Matthew. It's gone. 13. Why can't I throw 13? Matthew and 13. Well, let's try it till I get it. Sure, absolutely. Let's do it. Try it. Yes. Go. Go. Oh, go. Join, Join us, us in, in the, the call, call to, to dance. Make more fun.